Okay, so Chimichanga here, and uh, what we're going to do is explore the uh, anatomical adaptations of vascular plants in the fern Nephrolepis, which is kind of a cool fern. Okay, so here what I'm doing is I'm making a cross section of the rhizome, and you take your pin and you hold it like a rolling pin, and then you slice down against it with the razor blade against the edge of the pen and you slice that bit off <clears throat> and then uh, you just slice and then roll slice roll slice roll roll slice roll slice slice roll right slice slice roll roll slice here it is again slice 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 roll slice roll Roll, roll, you're making me nervous. Look at me twitch there. Okay, yeah, slice, slice, slice. All right, so then um, you clean up that stuff there. And then, uh, oh, I guess we're doing it again. <clears throat> yeah, so we're going to do it again just because most of these slices won't work out that well. Okay, so hold it down like the rolling pin and then slice, roll, 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 slice. All right, that's, that's plenty. Some of those are going to work out. So then you just sort of brush it off onto the slide there. Okay, good. Nice. And we can get rid of the ones that are obviously too thick. That one's no good. And then, oh, that one's no good. Uh, that one's no good. That one's no good. That one's no good. All right, now. We're going to add fluoroglucinol. Fluoroglucinol will stain lignin red. Lignin's the stuff that makes wood hard. And so you put a couple drops on there. So the deal about fluoroglucinol is it's in acid, so you don't want to um, get it on the... Uh, oh, you don't want to turn it over. Oh, look, I dropped it a couple times. All right, well, anyway, uh, yeah, you don't want to get fluoroglucinol on the objective lens, so let's just use the 10x objective. Let's not go to the 40x. If you have to go to the 40x, get your instructor to do it because we don't want any of that acid on the, on the lenses. That will mess up the objective lens. Okay, so now we add a cover slip and ka-plunk, ka-plunk, plunk, plunk. Oh, there's not enough liquid. Okay, add some more fluoroglucinol. Yeah, yeah, there you go. All right, that's pretty good. Okay, let's go to the scopes. Oh, here's me at the scope. I'm looking through the scope, and here's what we see. So the first one, the vascular bundle's just totally mushed. That's too thin. Here's a thicker one. and Let's zoom in on that. And the, uh, the red-purple, that's xylem. That's uh, what water is conducted through. The glistening white part, that's phloem. Uh, that's what sugars are conducted through. But the water comes through the xylem, that uh, kind of magenta color. Now, you might be interested in the yellow part. That's the cortex. And the cortex of this fern has uh, these cells with corner thickenings. So I think that they're called calenchyma. Let's wash off the slide. Yeah, so you wash the slide off, get the cover slip off of there and everything. Good, that's enough. And then just tidy up a little bit and then put the slide in the slide box straight. All right, now for something else. Now we take this fern leaf, fern leaflet, and uh, you take it and crimp it um, from, say, the top, and then pull one side down kind of trying to peel off the epidermis. There's a little bit of jagged edge there. Let's do it again. You crimp it and then peel, and that's the top side you can see. And then 
you can see that there's a little bit of the bottom epidermis there. And what you want to do is want to put that, um, the outside up. No, that's the top side up. That's the inside up. We want to make the outside up. And then uh, you can see stomata. So do that for both the bottom epidermis and the top epidermis. And you can compare the density of the stomata on the two surfaces. This is what it looks like. See the stomata there? That's what regulates gas exchange. And that's all I have to say about that.